Good morning children. Today we shall learn about cells. Just like a house is made of bricks, our body is made up of cells. So, we can say cells are the building blocks of our body and both the bricks in the building and the cells in the living organisms are the basic structural units. But what exactly is a cell? Let us see. In 1665, Robert Hooke observed a slice of cork under a microscope. The cork is actually a part of the bark of a tree. He noticed that it was made of small box-like units. Each box was separated from its neighbor by a wall. He coined the term cell for each box. You know what Hook observed as boxes or cells in the cork were actually dead cells as the cork was made from the bark of a tree. Thus, cell was discovered accidentally. Later, scientists came to know that all living things are made of such microscopic small units which are cells only. From unicellular organism like amoeba to a large blue whale, every living organism is made of cells. You know, the number of cells is not same in all the organisms. There are many organisms made of one tiny cell only, like the bacterium. Few of them are as small as a millionth of a meter. On the other side, a mouse may have more than billion cells. One billion, as we know, is equal to 1000 millions. You know, our body has trillions of cells. One trillion, as we know, is 1000 billion which is a very large number. Now, you may ask, do all the organisms have cells of same size and shape? No. Surprisingly, but true, the egg of a hen represents a single cell and it is big enough to be seen by the unaided eyes. The white material that surrounds the yellow part in the egg is albumin which solidifies on boiling while the yellow part is called yolk. You know yolk is the part of single cell and this single cell can be observed without any magnifying device. Surprising isn't it? The size of all the cells are not same. The smallest cell is 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer in bacteria. If we divide a meter into million equal parts, then one part is a micrometer. So imagine how small a bacterium is. On the other hand, the cell in the egg of an ostrich can be as big as 170 millimeter by 130 millimeter. That's quite huge. Not just the number and size, even the shapes of cells are different. The red blood cells of our blood are spherical, that is round in shape. Few cells look like spindle, that is, they are pointed at both the ends. For example, our muscle cells. Few cells can be long like wire or the yarn. For example, our nerve cells. The nerve cells or the neurons form our nervous system. A nerve cell in human can be more than two feet long. Wow, that's very long. You know, few cells 
don't have any specific shape and they can change the shape for example in case of amoeba which is made of one cell only the amoeba can change its shape for movement and also for capturing its food the white blood cells in our blood also don't have any specific shape but while wbc or the white blood cell is just a cell amoeba is a full fledged organism capable of independent existence so why are there different types of cells the different types of cells are there and they do different tasks when a group of similar kind of cells do a specific task that group is called a tissue like muscular cells together form muscle tissue and the muscle tissue helps to move our body the different organs in our body are made of different tissues and different organs together form a system to do a particular job for example digestive system is made of different organs such as stomach small intestine large intestine etc and it takes care of digestion and absorption of food so the cells together form tissue tissues together form organ different organs together form a system like digestive system nervous system etc so now you understand a lot about cells the basic structural unit of our body that's all for now bye bye children